a quick walk around of our Fiat 500 of Barth. It's all original paint. All the panel gaps look like they're supposed to. All the flake in the paint's consistent uh, throughout the car. Uh, it's not to say it's perfect. It's a nice car, especially for the miles, but uh, there are some flaws in it. We'll kind of get to those here. So you can see on the hood, see lots of little, lots of little rock chips. In the front clip, you can see like some spots where you try to touch up. Wasn't uh, the best job wasn't done. There's a dent in the hood right here. This is just that's just dirt. That's not. Sorry, I drove the car in this morning. But um, so looking down the side of it, no dents or dings that I can see on this side. Um, while we're over here, driver's side front wheel is pretty good. Little mark right in there. This oh, this little guy right here. There's supposed to be a little plastic piece that's supposed to clip in here, and that's not there. <laughs> um, this wheel right here again, not too bad. A little spot right there. A little spot right there. The tires. Tires are good. This is the indicator. We're not to the indicator yet, so we got some time left. Again, looking on the side over here, you can kind of see the flake in the paint. Looks nice. And the finish is pretty good overall. Around the back. Back looks great. No issues back here. No scuffs or anything that I can see. Now again, paint's really nice back here so down the passenger side you can see there's several tiny little door dings if you can kind of i don't know if it's picking up on camera they're kind of like in this area here so i'll move back and forth you can kind of see them a little bit um and just see here's kind of like there's they're not deep dings they're just very slight it looks like somebody parked too close in a garage over time you can see there's lots of little guys all on the same line <laughs> so looks like somebody was in a tight garage at one point and just kind of wasn't the most careful you can kind of sort of see the little ripples going down the side of the car there up here perfect no issues and so this is this one's got its plastic panel i think these are known for falling out but um rocker panels down here Oh, that's fine. Oh, that's the way it's supposed to be. Sunroof up here this functions exactly the way it's supposed to. It's a fairly large glass roof that uh, works great. No, no problems with that. Back here, passenger side rear wheel. You can see there's a fair amount of curb damage all the way around. Again, tires back here. Those are good. They're a matching set all the way around. Up here, you can see these guys too. These are fine. Again, kind of a little more curb damage on the car. A little more curb damage down there. A little bit more down here. But this is just shine. But it's, wheels are overall not too bad. Not great, but not horrible. Especially for the miles. So moving on to the interior. Got the optional red interior. Oh, sorry, I forgot a piece of paper in there, but uh, everything's decent condition. You can see the driver's seat. I look over real close. You see it's showing some wear. You can see it like in there. I'm guessing it's from a wallet or something over time. Driver's side bolster. Obviously, that's showing some wear as well. Up here is obviously no big deal. That's fine. Steering wheel. 
You can see a little bit of wear in the leather. Um, but overall, no like fingernail rips or anything. It's got red stitching throughout. You can see over here, it's got, it's got Beats Audio in here. Two keys, both the factory original, factory original Fiat keys. Mats are decent. This here is not all scratched up or anything. This is a body colored panel. You can kind of see the flake in it right there, but that's fine. That all, that's all, that all works. Oh, sunroof again. I'll go around the cargo bay. Cargo bay back here. Looks like it's supposed to. There's a little beat subwoofer back here. It's got its little luggage cover right there so nobody can see in when you got stuff back there. These back seats, this little button here, these do fold down. So both sides do the same thing. They both got the same little button there. On the passenger side. Door panels, fine, great, no issues there. Passenger seat. Uh, overall look, it's a little better condition than the driver's seat is. See still, there's a little bit right there. And I think there's another mark. Yeah. Another mark right there. But again, the panel over here is fine. Sorry, I got my radar detector in there. Dash is fine, no cracks or anything like that. That's all, that's all good. This shuts the little pull handle right here. That shuts the way it's supposed to. All good there. We'll start it up real quick. So it's got 137, 137,009 miles on it. Okay, I told you I've been driving it. Odometer's flashing right now. I think that's, that's a common issue. I think it's like a voltage thing, uh, but it's been flashing that way since I bought it. So I just quite honestly haven't taken the time to figure out um, exactly why. Um, but I think it's, I think it has something. I think we just need to reset the battery and I just, I just haven't done it. <laughs> Idle's fine, runs nice and smooth. Sunroof and everything. There's the button right there. It closes. And there's another little cover that goes on the top. Oop, sorry. Spring loaded. <laughs> and then that covers up so it's more manageable. Oh, glove box here. You can see very well, but there's a can't see it at all. There's an auxiliary cord and then a USB input in there as well. Owner's manuals, all that stuff right in there. Sounds cool. Perfect. The lights work and everything. Like I said, no warning lights on, drives perfect, new brakes. Uh, oil change recently, uh, new spark plugs as well. And the brake light is on just because I got the parking brake. Uh, and then obviously I have no seatbelt. It shifts to the gears like it's supposed to. seats so driver passenger AC all that AC blows cold all right and that 
is the stay of earth.